Becky? Yeah. 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 One, two, one, two. The voice. I'm trying to get to the side of the camera the day, so I don't stand up. Oh, doesn't matter. You're you're that hungry for fame. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Grangemouth Sports Complex again for another great evening of entertainment. This evening, the Fury are up against the Stirling Knights, a local derby, as you know. A number of the F Knights players are actually part of the Fury team way back when, before they, they um, obviously created the Stirling Knights. So this is very much known as a local derby. And um, we're going to find out shortly just who's going out on the start and line up. Um, I'll know some of the players that are going out from the Knights as well. So just as a recap, I'm on my own this evening. And then hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll have a couple of guest speakers this evening, but I'm waiting. So we're just waiting on those guys turning up. And I'm sure they'll announce themselves when they get here. So you've got you've got myself alone this evening at the moment, and um, so we're about to find out, as I say, who the starting five are going to be for each team. It looks like, um, based on previous experience, it'll probably be a couple of the guys, a few guys that used to be Fury players. So Dan Daniel Chalk, um, Connor Rankin, Lewis Nairn were their main main players back in the day. So hopefully I think they look like they're coming on because they've got their warm-up tops off. And the other starters um, are number eight, Naylor, and number seven, Doherty. So we'll see those coming on. We'll see what the matchup's going to look like. From previous experience, um, unfortunately, the Knights have never given Fury a game, but I may have spoke too soon on that point. So to recap on the scores... From previous weeks, obviously this is our third game of the season. First game of the season was a very entertaining night against the Edinburgh Kings, which we won. And then last week was away against West Lothian Wolves, the new team in the league. Um, and I think it was around about a 30 or a 40 point victory um, for the Fury. So we're about to kick off here. Our usual start in five for Fury, um, 14 Ziggy. Elvis is in 15, Eddie's number four, then Trey, our new, our new sign-in from the US, number 10, and Bantu Burrows, number five. So we're about to tip off here. The tips, oh, it's a contentious start. Who have they given it to? They've given it to, they've given it to Fury. So Eddie picks up the ball here, about to inbound. So yeah, as I said, we know a few of these players. We know what they can do. Um, very much the still and nights guys that are on used to come off the bench for the Fury and there's three of them as I said starting tonight so Ziggy takes it strong to the basket but actually it's a great rebound from Naylor and I believe he's been down in England um, playing in Myers College and he's back up so I'm sure he's going to be I'm sure he's going to be gunning tonight um, looking forward to seeing him 
Oh, so a nice, nice jump shot from Bantu. His usual trademark, high arcing jump shot. Very difficult to stop. So an interesting mar match up here. Um, from Doherty, oh, Bantu's just got a nice steal there off chalk and skips it over to Trey. Ziggy puts it out to Elvis as he drives in. No, and it's a turnover. Yeah, they won't like that. Coach JB's head's down on the bench. So, Knights are about to inbound here. It's a very slow start to the game. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the new, well, I don't know if it's new, but in the night strip, very nice colours. Looks like some good matchups here. So, So number, so number eight, um, Naylor, as I said, his hair's matching the colour of his strip. Uh, so we get we get the rebound there. So we're just taking up the floor. Oh Eddie, oh it's almost got got it clean there though. So annual chalk doing a good job here but he's going to have to outlet it quickly because oh nice and and, and to be fair um connor's known for that you know he used to do that in the fury team as well and he, when he was a junior with the furies as well fury team as well he used to do that so that was a nice three for him so actually knight's going to the lead here early so it's three two to the knights with 7.57 to go in this first quarter Oh, Trey was looking for the foul there. He's not getting it, but he misses it. And it's a quick outlet, and we're getting up the floor quickly. Oh, unfortunately, they've turned it over. All right, so we're just coming back up the floor now. Um, Eddie leading the charge. Puts out to Elvis at the three-point line. And Trey's looking to take his man on here. Oh, and he misses that an easy jump shot for what Trey would normally put away. So it's still very tense. Oh, and we've been <laughs> thought we were going to get the going to get the possession there, but unfortunately, it's been given to the Knights. All right, so back down the floor here. A uh, nice drive from Daniel Chalk there, but unfortunately he's not getting it and he's been blocked. So we're look we're looking at the score now. It's been a very slow start. Knights are up by one point, leading three two with seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. It's an easy outlet there. They're just playing it round here. Trey's looking to get inside, but there's nothing open there. And there's one second left on the clock. And it drops. Lovely basket from Trey, but they left it very late there. So Fury go up 5-3. Daniel Chalk looking for who he's going to outlet it to. Goes back out, he's passed out to Doherty. So again, this clock's running down. They've got four seconds left on the shot clock here. It looks to go past and they've called a foul on the floor on Trey. So that's the first foul of this evening. So goes against Trey. And then the clock's reset, so they're back to 14 seconds. So Connor gets it on the three-point line. Lewis can shoot as well. Oh, he's just missed that one, but they pick up the rebound. Puts it inside to Lewis Nairn. Daniel Chalk picks it up. Looks to drive. Oh, it's a nice pass. Oh, there's a foul. On. I think Elvis just caught that one a bit too early. So, number 15, Elvis, has fouled Lewis Nairn there, so... As you know, because he was because he was shooting, he never made the basket. It's two free throws from the line. Um. So we've got um. 
two guests, two guests this evening. Um, not sure if anybody will know who they are. Um, oh, apologies, that's 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 terrible. Anyway, let's get back to the action. We'll introduce those guys in a minute. Um, so just keeping you updated on the score here as we get the ball back. If you're here up by one, five, four, with five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Oh, and Trey just hits a nice three. So this evening we've got with us um, stars from the Glasgow Rocks, Johnny Bunyan and Fraser Malcolm. So both previous, previous superstars themselves of Falkirk Fury played in the uh, all the way through the junior ranks in Fury um, and then obviously worked their way up to the Glasgow Rocks um, and Scotland set up as well. So we get the ball back. We get the ball back and um, Johnny, it's nice to have you here this evening. Hello, I am back. But I belong. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, and then another nice shot going. So now Fury are actually going up six points here. So it's 10 4 um, with just under five minutes to go. Here at the so, local derby. The local derby. And how many times have we commented on this, Johnny? Hey, I'm not sure. It's <laughs> always a riveting game. Absolutely. I Although I'm not sure, could we beat the Kings game two weeks ago? I'm not sure about that. We're waiting I know. to see. That's that one, I would have had a lot to say. So, what Thank do you think you of this Harry. lineup? This lineup, Johnny. Now, the new, the new, um, 21-22 season Fury team. Yes, I like them. I'm quite impressed with them. Uh, I think it's a good solid lineup. They've brought back most of their players. Obviously, added Trey, uh, who seems to be the superstar this mm -hmm. season. So. I think it'll be a good season for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as I say, we've had two great wins so far. One against the Kings and one against the new team in the league, West Lothian Wolves. And they've, they've been, well, I would say pretty comfortable wins, to be honest. So hopefully we'll see the same again tonight. Good pass there by Trey. Unlucky. Another one missed. So, so early minutes for your husband, Old Man River. Old Man River has made it, and, and his shorts are looking longer than ever. Yes, that's my style as well. <laughs> that's the Bunyan <laughs> style. It's absolutely not the new style, though. No, not at all. <laughs> by Ross Gibson. And Ross takes it coast to coast here. Oh, easy, Ross. easy, Leah. Oh, and coach. So the new coach for the Sterling Knights this season is um, is who we would call Bull. Um, <laughs> Commonly known. Most would Ian, call him Bull. Yeah, most would call him Bull. Ian McLean. So he's got a, a again, he's an ex Edinburgh Rocks player, um, Scotland player, Scotland international player. Also, I'm thinking, did he play for the old Falkirk's All Right team? Oh, I've no idea. I think so. Much more. I think. You seem to be much more. I don't want to give his name away there. More stats than I do. Very yeah. well prepared for this evening, Obviously. this evening of action. I mean, I feel like the Knights have got a whole host of veterans, though. You know, like, although they're young guys, I feel like I've known some of these guys for a long time and probably bull the most, to be honest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's taking a time out. He's put them on the bench. He's having a word with them, and it looks like he's trying to get them organised. And unfortunately, the Knights at the moment have only scored four points. So what are they going to have to do, Johnny, to get this back? Eh, yeah, to be honest, I've just walked in five minutes ago. I've got no idea. I don't know why I invite these folk. <laughs> Um, not, yeah, so let, we'll let Johnny get back. As I say, they were Fraser and Johnny were their usual um, celebrity late. So fashionably late. Fashionably late. Not sure about that. Late. Yeah, yeah, well, that's true as well. So yeah, we'll let Johnny. Um, we'll get him to half. We'll get him to, to the end of the first quarter, and then he can give a a synopsis on what he thinks. But at the moment, the Knights have only scored four points, four and points. they're, they're really minutes. really struggling on offense. I've got to be honest, but we didn't expect anything less. We're we're very guard guard heavy, you know. We put the pressure on, although they're the same. They won't be able to keep with our guards. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's many. There doesn't look like there's many bigs at all in the whole in the whole league, let alone in just in here tonight. We've got Ross Gibson's the tallest player on the court just now. Nice move by Daniel Chalk. Oh, that's oh, that's that's the first step. good good first step and good speed off the first step. He's just got to execute that. Daniel Chalk, an ex Fury player, give him a little bit of fucking. Yep. Recently married. Oh. Daniel Chalk. Good for him. Congrats. Powell and Old Man River there. Oh, jeez. 
when when Johnny does say the old man river, just for anybody that doesn't know that started watching Falkirk Fury games, that is Keith Bunyan, Johnny's brother. <laughs> It's the only time I that I, brother will I put in there. It's the only time that I get done and not vice versa, so I take this my opportunity. This is very true. Um you'll get to that age at some point, Johnny, and then you'll feel the pain. Yeah. Hopefully I'm still playing at that point. I don't want to. No. Alright, guys, so let's get back to the action. So they've put another point uh, oh yeah, they put another two points on the board here. So we're fifteen six to Fury with just under three minutes to go. Oh, it goes out to him. Oh, we expected nothing less, did we? Lovely pass. Absolutely ever. nothing less. Yeah. And and Banter knows to go to Keith. That's his act. He knows exactly what Keith can do. I don't know if there's anyone in Scotland who doesn't know. Rebound by three. It's good stop there. 18-6 Fury, just two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Oh, nice. that's, that's nice. And then, and, and as we said, that's that's where Trey's got a lot of his points from. Um, that's where Trey's got a lot of his points from in the last two games. He's got a very high um, jump shot and he can get over most guys. But as you said, Johnny, they've not got a lot of bigs here, the Knights team, so... Oh. Oh, oh, and an in by the end. You never uh, saved the ball. No, no, no. There you go. Good pass, look. Uh, Good call. On the floor. Good so call. So, what's this on the floor, Johnny? So, actually, that's the night's first, first foul of the night. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I never meant to throw that one in. Not that early. Um, Not your best. Not my best work. Uh, oh, and another pass out to Bunyan for another play by uh, Smith, that one. So we're coming down the floor. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he's just travelled there. It's a good good pass, good look as well. But just outlet too quickly. So, guys, we're 19-8 to Fury. Minute and a half to go in this first quarter. We're getting another sub coming on here. So, oh, the legend, oh, legend. that is Bell. Brian Munner, Munner. The most decorated... Fury player of all time. Absolutely, because if you count all of your junior stuff, no, you've got to bear in mind. Right, okay. Well, right, actually, actually it was. Self, self-proclaimed most decorated junior <laughs> player. <laughs> but he is probably oh, right. Another one. Oh. oh. Almost. Um, so that's uh, KB's one from one from three here. One from three. At oh. the moment. He wanted to get back to 50% yeah, yeah. like any good shooter will. Absolutely. Well, Johnny, you know all about that. What's your um, shooting percentage at the moment? In, right. the... in the cup, it was 46, so I was doing well. Yeah. Uh, and now we're going to start the league, so I need to keep it up. Yeah, absolutely. What? Oh, oh it's a bad outlet. Hell. Oh, and never called anything there, but they get it back. So there's 47 seconds to go in this first quarter. We're 19 eight up at the moment. So it's back to, oh... And you talk about veterans. Oh, oh, oh but this favorite. is a classic veteran. Favorite. Our favourite player. Fury's uh, most decorated and Fury's favourite. Um, I can't say I can't say it enough. Um, obviously, Greg Busas, number seven, comes into the game. Oh, oh, and oh, Bantu, Bantu get. Oh, that could have been a foul there. It's supposed to. So Bantu's going, taking it all himself here. But he's going to pull it back. So there's 30, 30 seconds to go here. Yeah. We've got 14 seconds left on the shot clock in this quarter. Oh, Trey's looking for a little one. Oh, excellent, excellent. So we're down to 20 seconds. They'll be looking for the last shot here. Yeah. But Knights have yet to get any double figures, Johnny. Yeah, struggling a bit. Struggling. I just don't think they're getting what they want out of their offence. But Fury are playing pretty good defence nice. as well. Oh, we're going to have to take a shot. There's five seconds left. Four. Uh, oh, he's missed that. No. no. He by Monarch. Mr. Monarch here. No. Oh. No, he's overshot it. Overshot the runway. Absolutely. So we finished the first quarter. Fury are up 22 to 8. I don't think Coach Bull's going to be happy about that performance, to be honest. The Raging Bull. The Raging Bull is going to have to take some action. Um, So he's put them to the bench again. 
Um, and we'll be back shortly for the second quarter. Short delayed. All right, guys, welcome back for the second quarter of this um, game against Stirling Knights. Um, Fury are up 22-8, and we're about to kick off. So it looks like we've got the same guys back on um, for the Knights, and we've got another um, guest on the comments this evening, Fraser Malcolm. Fraser Malcolm is a... Uh... And his third year professional in the Glasgow Rocks, one of the best Scottish players here. Uh, he does have a brother that represents Pocket Fury, but unfortunately he's not playing tonight. Fraser, how are you this fine evening? I'm good, Johnny. Very, very happy to be here. Uh, uh, is this your first time on the Fury commentary, Mr. Mel? Uh, I had a guest appearance uh, one time before when you were commentating a couple of years ago, but very glad to be back. Excellent. Oh, Old Man oh. River for three again. Oh, oh no, it's turned down. What is that? One, one from one four? From four. No, unfortunate. Yeah, so it's nice to have you, uh, Fraser. So what do you think of this Fury lineup so far? I think they're very good. I think they've got a lot of shooters and they're playing quick. Um, very well well coached, well balanced team. Well yeah, coached. Sorry, Johnny, we knew had to come in at the same time there. So uh, Coach uh, JB, for those of you that don't know, um, Coach John Bunyan, can <laughs> emphasis the name there. Um, yes, so Fraser's been coached by JB many of a time across the years and knows what he can do um, and looks like he's getting success here with this team as well. So, yes, uh, so very good recruiter as Mr. Bunyan. Yes, absolutely. But I was saying, Johnny, that um, you know you guys have come through the Fury ranks right from the uh, through all the development leagues as well so it's not that we've recruited any of you two you have actually been fully fully coached and developed fully by JB developed. Fully developed. <laughs> well others could say otherwise well, I, mean, I don't know well, what, what height you put down on your your sheet oh well the height I don't know what happened to the height with me myself <laughs> uh, alright so let's have a look at the score so it's 24-8 here is a streak streak on the ball yes I mean, Greg, Greg Fusas, an excellent player. Oh, oh, excellent pedigree, Greg is. Um, very good friend of ours now as well. He came over a number of years ago. Has now got his British citizenship and um, actually as a junior played for um, Panathinaikos. So we know that he's got quality. He's, a, he's an excellent player. And we've seen that over the years. And he's taken us to many league yes. and cup cha championships. Yes, Mr. Fusas might be in the top two or three of those decorated players we were talking about yes, earlier on. Yes, that's correct. He attributes the success of Fury in the recent years to his arrival. Absolutely, why not? Um, so, guys, let's have a look now. So, we're, I think, for a fact, we're saying Knights are not in double figures yet. Yeah. We're still on eight. I don't think Bull, as I say, is going to be happy. I thought he was going to bring something slightly different to this team. But actually, when you look at it, Johnny, they've still got three of the guys that came originally from Fury 
and let's be honest, came off the bench for for Fury. So it was always going to be a tough job for him. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about. That Panathinaikos skill. Pure just, skill. Pure skill just came through there. I'm surprised it wasn't the reverse layup that came out, but we'll the take it. We'll yeah, we'll, well, we'll get one of them later on. All right, so just in case you don't know, so Greg drove to the basket, made his shot, got fouled, and therefore he's got one free throw. Rules as well. Got to do the rules, Johnny, because I was get we got feedback on the comments about some people who are watching the basketball game are new to it. You can't you can't listen to online comments that this is about the, the, to, this is to. about the now and the then. Well we'll wait and see what the comments are tonight. Well true. There might be a call for a second. There might be. <laughs> All right. So Brian Monarch, obviously one of our key veterans, is taking the ball up and He's looking for Greg to set and his path, beautiful pass inside. Like, that's by Greg. Hey, that the Brian Monaghan. that Greg's got, just that pause, that little pause that he got, it takes that time. Yeah. Two, two veterans of the game there linking up. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, do you know any of these players that um, the other two guys from um, Knights, Johnny, the guy number eight, Neil, I'm the guy that came up from with us. He got him Matt, the one that went to Myers College, I think. Fraser's got more chance of knowing that than me. Do you know any of these guys? Well, the number eight is um, Naylor. Um, oh, there it is. The reverse. We just missed it. The old one-hand reverse for Fraser. So busy focusing on the nights, and we've missed the action. Um, so, yeah, I think the guy number eight is um, is, is the guy from Ma Myers College um, and his return to the nights. Definitely played with our juniors. I know that people said that he played for their juniors and he went down to the colleges as come back. So well, he's big and strong. Looks like he's got a good body, nice athleticism. Red hair as well. Yeah, you know, myself we usually have the body. In fact, they've got two redheads. They've got two redheads on that. That that. that I have co I have coached the smaller guy. Um, I don't know his on that I one. Don't know his name. I have coached his number um, five. Yeah. That, didn't start. Um, I think when you look at when you look at the lineup of all the guys we know, we know Daniel number four, we know Connor number eleven, we know Lewis number fourteen. Um, the guy Doherty number seven started, and I'm pretty sure number eight is the guy from Myers College. So I think they probably thought they were bringing back some class that could get to the basket, score. But actually, we've got some big guys on. Ross is on. It's going to stop him getting to the basket. So. Fury, Fury's team list is outrageously long, right? Yeah. <laughs> we'd sit it, we'd, we'd <laughs> go and post up a picture of our um, team list, which you can't even pronounce half the names that are at the side of them <laughs> on where they've come from. But most of them, to be fair, say Scotland International. Most of them do. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're back in action here. We're in the second quarter. We've got 5 minutes 55 to go. Fury are up 22 points here. And the lineup for the Fury are number six, Brian Munnock, number four, Eddie Laginas, number 13, Greg um, Ross Ross Gibson, and then we've got number 10, Trey, and five, Bantu Burrows is on. So we're, Bantu's had, had very little rest in this whole this whole I game. Need any rest. No, don't think so. Oh, so Naylor's just missed that shot there. And Brian comes up looking for that pass again. But Brian he's not comes got up with that trademark speed that we all we, we all know. Brian, that great speed that Brian's got. Oh, there's that shot, shot from A couple of young guys that's subbing for the nights here. Well, one of them looks young. Yeah, so there's a couple of guys waiting on the bench to come on here, um, bring some fresh fresh legs to it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Eddie, Eddie looking to go. One on one. Ryan, another. S oh! Could have just held oh, it there and wait. Yeah. Oh, very good defense. Good defense there. Yeah. So. So Daniel trying to take it in against Ross, pass it to Connor. Connor should have just shot that, to be fair. Well, Connor Ryan can usually shoot. Uh, he made his first one. Um, oh, another one missed. So. Up, uh, Tough defense from both teams tough. right now. They really look defense like. Defense again from this young guy. 
<laughs> see similarities in him, do you, Johnny? No, I don't believe he does. <laughs> oh, unlucky, unlucky. So Trey misses another one. I don't think at the moment Trey's going to be happy with his shooting. He's, he's, missed quite a, he's missed about two or three threes, a couple of jump shots that he would normally make. Not much going on offensively for the no. night here. I need to oh, that, oh. I think, Braz, don't they? Oh, there we go. So, Bill, uh, Braz, can you, can you explain Ian McLean's coaching philosophy of throwing some fish? Uh, throwing the fish was the term that he used for throwing the ball into the post to Ali Fraser. Um, we had a lot of success with that with our tour in Luxembourg. Um, we threw a lot of fish. We did throw a lot of fish, Johnny. Yes, we did. They've got a lot of rods. A lot. Right. So. <laughs> so, number five is at the line, jo Johnny. Just. Um, <laughs> Johnny's favourite player, number five, um, goes. Goes goes the line for two because um, he got fouled going to the basket, never made the shot, so he gets the two free throws, um, and he's and he's made and he's and he's made he's made them. Um, um, right, so let's get back to the scores here, Braz. What's the score on the doors? Okay, thirty-five to twelve in favour of Fury. Good post up by Roth and a nice mid-range fadeaway. What do you think of Ross? Um, how was he looking this, this season, do you think, Braz? Yeah, great post player. Uh, good at blocking shots. Um, yeah, very good all-round big man. That's another shot knocked down from Bantu. Yeah, excellent jump shot. Classic. So, Knights have got a couple of fresh uh, fresh faces on here. Number five, uh, number 15 and number 12 come on for them. Oh, I know. Oh, so oh, we're getting the legend that is Greg Fusas back on the court. So Trey's getting a rest here, um, and Brian's getting a rest. I mean, it's a good move, Raz. They're up what thirty-nine, twelve. They really don't need to push these guys Trey too hard here, do they? They can easily bring on a couple of other guys. Yeah, good opportunity to to um, rotate the bench and um, you know get some fresh legs on and prepare for the second half. Absolutely. So, Fury inbounds into Greg Fusas. Out, so Connor Martin's on the floor, just come on the floor as well. Oh, Eddie takes one really pressured shot there. And 12 comes down the floor, she's trying to go coast to coast here. Greg, oh, Greg's defense is outrageous. And unfortunately, he's fouled. Right, so we're uh, back in action. Uh, Greg won't be happy with that move. He, he's a much better defender than that, to be honest. Oh, oh great move by Eddie. Beautiful pass inside. Eddie just takes it nice and easy. I don't think I've seen Duncan. Uh, he definitely can. I think he's uh, he's more of a point guard that uh, plays in the half court, but definitely can can get up and, and throw it down when when he has the opportunity. That's a nice move by Daniel Chalk Absolutely. for the night. Yeah, and Ross just didn't want to reach in there, I don't think. Oh, Eddie passes to Connor. Oh, another band to Luke. No. Oh, great offensive board. Oh, but he turns it over. Oh, unlucky Connor. So Connor went for another three there. We know he can score threes, he's just been unfortunate here. Oh, and then Daniel's just put his hands in there. Good seal by Ross Ross Gibson, getting nice and low in the paint. Excellent post player. Thank you. Right, Raz, so what's what's your what's your thinking now? So there's only two minutes left in this quarter. 
And I mean, the Knights aren't even hit 20 points yet. Is there, is there anything that you can think they can do to get out of this? Uh, I think it's quite... Oh. Not that. I think it's quite a, quite a tough matchup with Fury having a lot of talent. Um, I can come in and score. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I think I think they try and have to set themselves a goal. Um, yeah. But that'll be tough to do considering Bantu and Eddie and, and Greg are up. Are up. Mm. Excellent. All right, so um, Eddie's at the line for two shots here because he got fouled he's going to the basket there. Um, he's missed the, he's missed his first one, setting up for the second one. He's made it, so we're happy with that. So we go 42-17 in the second quarter, one minute 42 to go. The Knights come up, we're really looking for them to do something here. I mean, they've went to their three-point shot, it's not came off. Great defence by Greg again. They're going to look for the shot here. No, they're taking it inside. Oh, excellent. excellent. Great excellent. by Fusas Bantu off to the races. Perfect. And that's textbook, you know, quick outlet, coast to coast for Bantu, easy. And these guys ain't going to stay with them. Bantu, a great defensive player, can get lots of steals, lots of open ups in transition. So you guys know uh, Bantu, don't you? You used to play for the... Glasgow Rocks. I played for the Rocks when I was, uh, well, I mean, not that I've ever not played for the Rocks, it feels like, but he played for the Rocks uh, for a couple of years. He's not played on the same team as Fraz, but Fraz has played with him in the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, he was my teammate when um, on Scotland teams, and especially that, that prolonged time at the Commonwealth Games. Um, but great, great defensive player, really, really smart point guard as well. So we've only got um, 30, just about 30 seconds left here in this. Oh, Greg, oh! Oh, I Great actually felt that. By Greg. Oh. And, you know, that's not what Greg needs. He's had, a, he's had a knee injury, and so actually going down on the ground like that, you know, yeah. it could hurt him. I think these 37, 38-year-olds feel those falls just a little bit more. He's 39. Is Greg 39 now? I don't know what age Greg is. We need to have a fact check. No, that's not done. We need to have a fact check on Greg's age. So he goes to the line anyway. He's got the foul out of it. So first shot up. No, I mean, we don't expect Greg to miss these. You know, these are called free throws for a reason. Because of the unsportsman like foul, they'll have six free throws and get the ball back. So you'll have the chance to take the last shot of the, of the quarter. Thank you, Fraser. <laughs> no, you've got to stick to the rules. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. So. Um, so we've only got 37 seconds left. Um, we've got a shot clock. We've got 14 seconds to take a shot here. Um, but we're up 45-19. So let's see if we can capitalise on this. What do you think they're going to do for us? Yeah. A long possession and, and potentially, a, potentially a, a middle ball screen um, to get a shot late in the shot clock. Or send Greg oh, to ask him. Let's give the ball to Greg. Ah, ah. I mean, let's be honest, they saw a bit of a mismatch there. They were always going to go to Greg on that play. It has 11 points, four rebounds, three steals. Oh, we to the, uh, for the Knights, uh, which means Fury will have the last shot of the half. Yeah. And there's seven seconds to go in the quarter. So. Fraser, is this how you address your pupils at Greif as well? It's very, very formal. <laughs> Got to inform the, the crowd. What call you Mrs. <laughs> we'll not go there. We will not go there. Please, oh, do you know what I've got to work with here? Um, Sorry, Diane. I'm trying to bring some professionalism to this commentary team. Absolutely. Me and Fraser could be ruling this. And then you get the riffraff coming in the back door. <laughs> He's going to do it for the second half. He's promised. And Seven just, seconds just, to go. We've got, yep. Yeah, good shout for us. Keep us back on track. Uh, Three, two, one. Oh, lovely. Great, great he's just beating the half time. Uh, uh, so, so 47 21. And, you know, Eddie goes to the line for one there. He drove the basket. They, they stupidly fouled him. Um, and that means number seven, who was the starter, um, number Doherty, goes to put him to the line here. And he's made it. So they've only got. 
point two of a second left on the clock here, and that's it all over. Heaved it up at the end, and it's not going anywhere. So, in, end of the half here, we've got 50 for Fury, Knights 21. Um, I don't think the Knights will be happy with their performance, so they're down 30 already. I mean, unfortunately, a few shots haven't dropped for them, but the coach JB is going to be happy going into the half time here, and then we'll 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 catch up with you again. And we've got another uh, celebrity guest coming on the second half, which will keep us a surprise. Oh, surprise uh, when we guests. come when we come back in the second half. The viewers look, are being spoiled tonight. The hundreds of viewers are being absolutely. spoiled. Absolutely. More about the guests than the game right now. Absolutely. I think. Uh, but there's only certain people that can keep this together. So. Uh, we'll catch you back here for the second half of the action. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Goodbye, lads.
time show. Ah oui, you're on the half time show. Hello and welcome to the halftime show with your host Jack Jarvis. <laughs> and Rick Vaughan. Rick Vaughan. <laughs> and on our halftime show we've got well he goes he goes by many names. He goes by Miss Mr. Bags. Mr. MBs. Yeti Spaghetti. Spaghetti Man. Money Bags. And the Spaghetti Monster. And Tam. It is the one, the only, Alistair Fraser. Alistair, how are you doing this evening? I'm fine, thank you, Fraser. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Alistair, what have you made of the first half so far? Seen much of it, to be honest. I got here a little bit late. That's great. Have you been enjoying the fireworks? Not particularly, no. I've been enjoying Greg Fusas's play, though. It's been fantastic. Yes, I agree. Apparently, all the fireworks happened in the Kings game that we were not here for. Something like that. Alistair, why do they call you money bags? Can you explain? I have absolutely no idea. You'd have to ask one of, uh, one of the commentators why that is. Oh. Razor, can you elaborate? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Any other input before the second half, MBs? No, nothing from me. <laughs> well, Alistair, thank you for your time. We're going to pass um, the commentary back over to uh, Diane. Diane. Diane, a bit more of an autocratic leader. The kids were let out of the barn there to play during halftime. God help you. <laughs> All right, guys, um, welcome back. Uh, let's get some order in this place. Um, so, yeah, we're joined by the celebrity crew. As you hear, as you already got told by Fraz. Um, so, yeah, we've got the whole, almost got the full Glasgow Rocks team here this evening. Um, yeah, we've got 30 seconds here to the start. Um, and I think we're looking yes, we're at only, the... We're only missing uh, Coach Murray. We are, yeah. He would be a good addition to this. Yes, Coach Murray would be. I, I think they've just reinforced the bleachers here as well, which would help for Coach Murray. They're well needed. All right, guys, we've got 10 seconds to kick off here. I'm changing the tune again. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave the kids to play. Um, so, <laughs> 10 seconds to go. And it looks like, let's have a look. Let's ha I don't know who Bill's going to bring out here. I'm not sure if he's going to go back to his regular starting five or not. Or if they were not. Right, let's have a look at the starting five for Fury. So Ziggy's back on the court, uh, number 14. Elvis is back on, Trey, number 10. Bantu, number five. Eddie, number four. And no, it's not the original starting five that's coming. St starting five that's coming on so um we've got daniel daniel chalk still on number four uh doherty number uh seven eight nailer and the other two guys then were not in their starting starting five so they'll come out with a slightly different thank you fraz um yeah so it's, again it's we we know it's this like, is, uh, looks like uh, john introduced an old school fury player there they've played it for a bit of a hundred years, three it was called. <laughs> oh, 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 then he hit one as well, so that backfired on you. It's the genius of John Bunyan's coaching, really. Pure he genius. Only, he only gets away with that because it's his father. Yep, that's a oh, good call, yep. yeah. Oh, oh. oh, no. That was, well, the commentator's well, pussy comes out of the terrible. Paul for fury. It's <laughs> everybody else. <laughs> All right, so we'll kick off. If anyone now. wants a good night of comedy, they should just attend any Scottish basketball game and just to pay attention to the referees. It will genuinely be one of the best nights of your life. Ed, oh, good pass, oh, by nice the game. Pass. Uh, yeah, we just said that. Bring in Ziggy. Without any connection. Yeah, well done, Fraser. Good job. <laughs> Very rare for Eddie to pass down a shot. All right, guys. So let's get. So the Knights have got the usual guys on. So they're they're passing it round here on the perimeter. They're going to look for a three. Or they're going to try, they're trying to go inside here. Now they've kicked it back out. He's going to have to take the shot here. No, and they've no. missed another one. Missed another one. Fifty-five twenty-one. Fury got a good start to the second half here. Absolutely, Johnny and Elvis. We are real. A good. Another great rebound there. Good pass by Eddie. Read the play very well there. Oh, Lucky by Johnny. Yeah, I just said that, Trey's not, his shot's not quite been on, so let's hope it heats up a bit in this second half.
All right, so again, pass it around the perimeter. They, they do like to try drive to the basket. Oh no, their Elvis has got them and round the net. Unfortunately, that was. I did see that as well. Yeah, we've got a we've, jump ball. Yeah, we've got a jump ball. So um, it looked like it, the ball was being contested by both players, uh, apparently. So it's went to a jump ball, and that, and the possession arrow goes back um, towards the night. He's saying that he's given coach uh, J John Bunyan a warning there about he needs to contest the ball. Well, if he needs to contest the ball, then call the foul if he wasn't contesting the ball. I don't really know what point he's making. Yeah. Uh, who? Who? Right. Right, okay. So we've got a bit of contention here. Coach J. Beeson stood up now, put his mask on, and decided that he's going to have a word with oh, the, the referee. The masked man. With his, with, his, with his glittery buttons on his shorts. Um, but I'm glad he's gone back to the shorts this week because last week he wore the spalding tracky bottoms which have got the black top with the grey bottoms. It was almost like a pretend short. Wasn't a good look for him. So, oh, they're going to have to heave it. And it's a bad heave. Right, well, I'm glad we've managed to direct the conversation back to basketball instead of John Bunyan's fashion sense. <laughs> All right, so we're 55-21 here in the third quarter. Uh, with eight minutes left. Trent. Pass by Trey. Lovely. Oh, and Good job by Elvis there. Oh, Elvis, the great offensive board. Fury employing oh, their, their standard on. form of basketball yep. to shoot as many threes as you possibly can in the hope that they go in, which is working right now. The thing is, Johnny, when they kick them out to them and these guys aren't on, up on them, they're going to shoot them. Yeah, that's true. I, I should know I've made my whole oh, career on shooting threes. Absolutely. Nice You're, on the board in the second half, yes. Yeah, that's good. Good shout. So, yeah, they're up into the 20s now, so they'll be happy about that. Eddie just skips it round to Bantu here. Tries to penetrate. Puts out to Ziggy. I'm not sure what he's doing out there with it. Oh, here's Ziggy. Oh, and a lovely little kick in Elvis. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, I'm pushing to here, actually. Oh. And actually, there. What Ziggy, are they going to do here? Ziggy on the break. Good pass to Burrows. Finds Trey in the corner. Oh, is he going to? No, he oh, passed oh, that up. Maybe just... Maybe... Oh, oh unlucky. Maybe just not... That's caught the law. What's he doing there? Just decided to take a picture of him. Just pretend to slip out of bounds uh, on that one. Yeah, so he won't be happy with himself. He's laughing at himself, to be, <laughs> to be fair about that one. So, yeah, we're, they're trying, obviously the Knights are trying to make it run at this. They've, been, they've got an open three here and the guys put it up, which... You're going to take that shot all day long, but the Knights are not, not being in tonight at all. The Knights. Like watching the Fury Junior men. <laughs> That's a low blow. That is quite a low blow, but they won't be happy with their performance last weekend against West Lothian Wolves. All right, so the Knights come up with the rebound there, and Daniel Chalk again pushing up the floor. Oh, and they penetrate again, and they push off there. Come on, that's oh, yeah, the call call the man. Good call, call, yeah. Calling a charge on good that. Call from the from the stands here, Ryan. Yes, um, yes, top charge. So here to get the ball back, and Lewis is Lewis Nairn's coming back onto the floor ah, here yes. to Lewis to the place fifty. Nice guy, Lewis. Really nice guy. One of the biggest celebrities around the league. You may have seen him in his adverts for a chocolate bar um, in the eighties, I think. Some of those people watching won't yeah. have seen it. <laughs> Just talk about the league celebrity, the old Milky Bar kid here. Elvis doing some work inside. What a, nothing what a, uh, pivoting and fouls and no absolutely, absolutely getting nothing there inside and they're trying to work hard here. Oh, he'll be happy with that. That maybe just breaks the back of it. Yeah, yeah. Get him going a bit. Absolutely. And to be fair, Trey's hit 37 and then 30 consecutively in yep. the last two games, so I'm not sure he's think, quite near that. It's, it's, I don't think anyone would blame him for a wee off night. Absolutely not, no. 
All right. So know, a couple of, name, have a right. couple of veterans coming in here. Sorry, Ross, some kidding. Um, <laughs> um, so Keith Bunyan, number nine, comes back on for Ziggy and um, Ross Gibson. So and Elvis let's, goes to let, the let's, uh, Fraser, let's uh, assume that Mr. Bunyan, Old Man River, plays the rest of the third quarter. How many threes do you think he can attempt between now and the end of the third quarter? Probably not a lot, given that Chase has Given that Chase has <laughs> shooting them. I'm still going to put in my number at four. Four attempts between now and the end of the third quarter. Please ask what you think. I'm going to go with five. I'm going to see you and I'm going to raise you. I'm going to raise Ali you. Fraser, what is your view on how many threes Keith Bunyan is going to take in this quarter? Right. Yep. Four, two calls two for five. Two fives and a four. So he's got to get the ball first, which is a little <laughs> tricky given, like we just said, Trace hit his last two. So if you, yeah. to be fair, when the guards come down, Eddie or Bantu come down with the ball, they're going to look to... No, he's not too late on oh. coming to him there. That's a foul, yeah. Oh, and Eddie takes it good strong. Drive, the, Eddie. Very good. Strong to the basket. So the Knights have got a few few fouls on the board. Two guys on two fouls um, at the moment. Uh, another one goes to two fills. So we've got three guys on two two fills here, but I don't think they're going to be looking to take anybody off at this point. Do you think, Johnny? No, I don't think the foul will count. It's probably even a it's probably even a concern anymore. So let's so I'm out by Bull here. Thank you. So update on the score, Johnny. Uh, 65-25 Fury, 40 point game halfway through the third. It's uh, probably going to be quite a a dull ending to the end of the game, but hopefully the commentary team can, can keep it fresh. So I'm going to bring in um, Ali Fraser here just to um, talk about his view on the game uh, so far, in particular this, this half since he missed the first quarter. Um, so Ali, what do you think of the game so far? A bit of a massacre, to be honest. Fury just shooting threes at will, hitting them right now. Hopefully that continues. Do you think the Knights can do anything to... Um, no. clo That's what I'm working with. Um, all right, so Ali's got no hope for the Knights. I don't and, think there's uh, any adjustments they can make in this game. Yeah, so, and, and to be fair to his comments, that's probably true. We said at the beginning that it's never been a, a close game we've come up against our, the, in the local derby with um, the Knights. They've just not got the quality of player at the moment. In actual fact, as we mentioned and Johnny mentioned, is they've got a really, really young squad here uh, of players. So do you think Bull is going to have... You You know, you probably know what Bull's going to um, do, Ali, don't you? You probably know what they're going to try and get them to do. So let's give us some... Give us some insight into what you think you might have said there. So, Bull as a former big guy himself, who likes to get the ball on the post, you know, his terminology, he likes to throw a lot of fishes in there, see what he can see what he can get. All right, so we're back in action here in third quarter. Four fifty-one left, sixty-six twenty-five, um, and knights are on the ball. Oh, a lovely drive there from 13, and I'm not even a starter. Um, I think that's somebody that um, Fraser knows very well. Oh, by oh, oh, yeah, and he could have dished it out there, like you said, Johnny, but he went inside himself. Lovely reverse layup. Greg, trademark. Greg would be very proud. Oh, very proud. You already putting on a bit more ball pressure here. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so I think, the, to be fair, the Rocks guys are calling for a Greg return here. Uh, we know what you can do, but... Oh, this could be showtime. Oh, what are we going to get? Oh! oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think he was quite feeling it there. And I, right, I, 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 So, Eddie drives the basket, kicks it out to Trey, puts it into the big man. Oh, and it's an easy put, put away. 
Yuri's starting to step up their defense now and get a lot more steals. Yeah, absolutely. So it's 72 27 to Fury. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. Palindrome score. Actually pretending he's shown some intelligence there. Um, right, so there's no longer the paradrome score. It's 72 29. Um, and Knight's yet to get into the 30s. Oh, Vanta just misses one there. So we're back to Dan Daniel Chalk, and he's looking for looking to the inside there. Oh, he's driving against Trey. Putting it back out. Oh, he's muscled his way in there, and he's got the foul. So is he getting the basket here, Fraz? What was that, Diane? Is he getting the basket? Fine. Right, okay. So, um, two and a half minutes to go. That's nice. Just making another sub just before heading into the final quarter. <laughs> Number eight, Naylor goes to, goes to the line here. Um, oh, and yes, on the he's here. got a basket. Oh, so he's got one more to go here. JB so, giving the crowd what they were wanting, having the Greek freak. Greg Fusas back into the game. Oh, well, here we go. Had an excellent game so far. Absolutely. Yes, he has had an excellent game. Wonderful first half. Let's see what he can do in the second. All right, guys. So, um, <laughs> back in action. So, two minutes, 20 to go here. 72-31 is the score. Eddie again taking it to them in the drive, puts it out to Brian Munnock for three. He was trying to get in the action there with the threes, but just missed out. So, oh, another one. Unless they get two, unless it's they got get some sort of trademark tip tap, tip -tap, tip -tap, tip -tap, tip -tap yep. I think unless they get to Bunyan soon, I think the five's looking unlikely. The five is looking <laughs> No, you can't. You can never. Although Eddie's just took two of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's unlikely. Well, any prediction, any prediction that he's going to get. So, oh, they're having a really bad shooting night tonight. The nights. The night. The nights. The night. The night. Lot, oh, one, that's one. Oh, that's one, one, one. one and Johnny's on the list for three, right. so it looks like he's winner anyway because he called three. <laughs> Absolutely, but we've only got one minute le uh, left here in this um, quarter, so oh, it goes oh, it goes straight to him. Oh, he's trying his hardest there, Keith. Oh. The defense from Keith. Nah, Maybe looking for a second three right here. Here's the second, there's two. Two from two. Oh, two in this quarter. He's obviously here for Spraz. That's the theory's coaching connection with Greg Fusas passing to Keith. Absolutely. Great link up play. So we've got 47 seconds here. There's still time. Oh, no, Lewis. Oh. Red line. You've heard it here first. Yeah, we. Johnny is claiming that Keith's next three will be from the red line. 35 feet. Red line, he's going to stand right there, and if he can't keep the ball, he's shooting. So, here we go, 36 seconds left. Greg will see the Straight set. Oh no, Greg. Oh no, Greg will not be happy with that move. Oh, oh no, he's, no, he's oh. tried to get it back in. Nice. It's gone to the Knights with 23 seconds left here. Uh -huh. and there was a bit of a push off there anyway. Eddie's got, oh, Eddie's some speed against, oh, and into the Greek freak. No, no, that was a good pass as well. And unfortunately, Ross has just missed it, but he's drawn, he dropped the foul. So he goes to the line for two. Ross has missed his first one at the line there. Oh, yeah. um, 13 seconds to go. 
in the quarter. So Fury looking to get one more stop before heading into the final quarter of play. So nice. Alistair, any final thoughts for this last possession? No. Thanks, Thanks Alistair. All right, so six seconds to go. They're going to get a shot away here. It's gone for the fill. Oh, and it's a nice Good finish by Connor right Ryan. Ryan with the full court. Oh, Ryan. Oh, no. Hits the backboard. So, what's the synopsis? So, 79 33 to Fury. Going into the last quarter here. I cannot ask again what is the bull going to do because. I think none of us have got any answers to what this what the situation is here. However, they've scored thirty three points in three quarters. What are they going to do to get more than eleven points in the last quarter, Raz? Uh, I think they have. Uh, I think they'll be looking to play at a faster pace and um, try and try and maybe tire Fury out if um, if they've got players that have played some heavy minutes. But you know, it's uh, it's possible that Coach JB may be rotating his bench within this last quarter a little bit as well. And actually looking at the bench that Fury have got, it's pretty deep. You know, JB, with a scoreline like this, it's got plenty of options to go to. And what's the, what's the bench looking like? Who's he going to bring uh, up? From the look, it's looking like Connor Martin's coming back on, Elvis is coming back on, along with Brian, and then Kieran Allen, and uh, Poker Fury's very own Tommy Fury, Jordan Perks. It's coming on for the first time. <laughs> yes, I, I want Jordan to enter Love Island. I think... As a Falkirk citizen, he's our best chance at being on Love Island. Good looking guy, big strong guy, got a wee bit of chat about him. Good haircut. Oh, and by the way, he can build a fence. And he, and he. He actually put my fence up. So he's got joinery skills as well, just put that in. All right, guys. So yeah, so young lineup here for us, minus Brian. I don't know what age is there's Brian some, now. Same as you. Youth. What age is that? Then? There's still some youth in these ninety-two bonds. There's still some youth left. Ninety-two bonds. Uh, all right. So let's have a look at who Bulls now bringing on. Uh, also, he's bringing it. Lew uh, Lewis is coming back in fourteen. Uh, Connors back in number eleven. But the other three guys weren't original starters, so let's see what they can do in the last quarter. And and I think we're we're aiming for that. It should be aiming for over eleven points. Great pass from the young two from Fury. Oh, unfortunate. Sterling playing at that fast-paced tempo, looking for more transition points. Oh, yes. Good shot. They're very close to getting the eleven points. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so Jordan uh, Ferguson, number 11, again come through the youth, youth squad. Oh! Great shot from Connor Martin. Likewise, our very own Connor. Uh, there looks like there's going to be rage coming out. Um, there's going to be a timeout. There's going to be the well. raging ball. The next great ball. Shortly. <laughs> um, no. no, Brian. Oh, Jordan, lovely rebound. Kicks out to Kieran, Kieran, Kieran Allen. Again, another one who's come through the whole uh, Falkirk Fury development program and had a spell with Gla uh, Glasgow Rocks as well. He did very well. His, uh, his time there. Oh, good. Oh! oh reverse pass. Didn't go anywhere. All right, so we've got eight, eight and a half minutes left here. 82.36 to Fury. Oh, Connor for another one. Oh, unlucky. Oh, the game's got a wee bit ragged now. It's got a little bit scrappy, um, but I hope you are enjoying the commentary anyway. Um, and if you want to leave any comments, feel free. Yep, comment away. Tell us what you want to hear next game. Tell us anything you want. Tell us some stories. What are you doing on Bonfire Night tonight? Are you watching this garbage or are you watching the fireworks? Just don't mention fish. Right, so back to the action. So, number 13 drives in. And they've been tempted to drive quite a bit, but then why do they not look for their outside shot when they drive in? 
I'm not too sure that I am, but there was a kick ball, which means that the shot clock is going to reset to 14 seconds. Oh, Fraser, and we come back next out, week. We have a timeout that is brought to you by Lanarkshire. All right, so Bill looks like he's having a serious word here. He was, he didn't look happy when he went in that time out. There was a slight chair incident. So, and they're actually looking on the other side of it, the Fury bench looked very jovial this evening. Yes, they do, in a good spirit, obviously. Oh, Coach JB's actually cracked a smile there. Very rare for JB to crack a smile, especially in these COVID times. He's called King COVID, is what we call him around the house. Masks back on. Masked man. All right, so let's get uh, back in the action. So... Same same lineup. Uh, number six Brian Munnock, number eleven Jordan Ferguson, eight Co Connor Martin, twelve Kieran Allen, and fifteen Elvis. So he's gone for number fifteen. So number eight's back on here. They love to drive the basket, and unfortunately Jordan's just getting a bit too. We nudge there. Just a wee nudge. We love that. We love Island tap there. If anyone knows a, a way in the back door, they love Island. Storm hit their first free throw there. <laughs> Lined up for their second. Excellent. Two for two from the line. So they're getting from 11 points. So they're up to, so it's 82 38, 744 to go. Any final score predictions for anyone? I'm going to have a prediction that Fury are going to finish with 95 points. Ooh. I'm thinking about the same. I think we might get the, the 100 spot. Maybe. I'm not sure if they stick with this lineup. Oh, great seal from Jordan down low. What a pass outside to Connor Martin. Oh! Uh, 47. Connor Martin with a sweet string music right there. Oh! So two in a row for Connor there, and he'll be pleased with that. And you know, when he gets on a when he gets on a run there, you know what it's like when you start feeling it. Well, I don't know, but my husband tells me that. <laughs> Yep, he has. Needs help. Somebody come to help. Nice. So Brian's back on the ball. We need some steady hands on this ball. Oh, and he's good just ball. got that's good. good been for just can things down. Been called on the smallest guy on the court. That's Number six. Got his full kit on. All right, so, yep, so, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, unfortunate, and it goes to them. It came off the backboard, so it's back in the hands of the Knights. So Daniel, a lovely spin move, kicks it out for the three. Oh, and unfortunately, the big guy can't finish. Oh. Daniel, Daniel Chalk strong suits as his... Shifty moves to the basket, good drives. He's just always a wee bit struggled with the finishes, but he usually makes a good pass. He's probably the sh one of the strongest guys we've lost, to be fair. Yep. Um, very, was very, a very useful player, athletic player. Mm -hmm. yep. Nice guy. Nice guy, yeah. So, kicking it round to the big guy on the, the top of the three point line. Oh, number seven kicks. Oh, nice. Nice play from nice. the Sullivan Knights there. Oh. To one more point and they can hit their 11 points this quarter, so I think they could hit a 50. I think they've got loftier ambitions than your 11. Mm -hmm. Great communication. Yep. Um. Oh, there's a bit of Archie under the, under the basket with Elvis and the smallest guy on the court. Here now for three. Oh, and they're just putting the nail in the coffin now, aren't they? So you can see them getting a bit of confidence. Connor hit a couple down, you know, they're all starting to feel that buzz. But here's the big boys getting starting to line up, come back in. Number seven goes for a jump shot again, and that's two in a row he's hit. Number seven, another starter, Doherty, 
He's just hit two in a row here. So actually, they've gone over the predicted 11 points per quarter. So it's Fury, 87, Knights, 45, with five minutes to go. Connor slowing things down, taking the screen from Jordan. Pulls up for another three. Oh. Oh. What oh. was tricky in these situations to end the game that are a the score line as it is now it always gets a wee bit chippy towards the end so let's just hope we have a nice uh, clean ending to the game no RJ Barty no and this looks promising for the score line you're predicting um, Donnie bringing Bantu and Ziggy back in if you want to get over the 100 mark and the century mark absolutely so no changes from Bull yet he's just sticking with these these five guys at the moment um, so there's very heavy around the three-point line. Should kick it. Oh, it was a lovely move for, from Daniel, but he just missed it there, and um, Connor comes up with the rebound. Yep, Fury just slowing, slowing the game down here. Maybe looking for a good shot. Good drive Ziggy. by Ziggy, and he's fouled and going to the line for two. Clear foul there. The guy puts his hand up to admit that he's committed the foul. So it was going to the basket, so he's going to the line for, for two. And that's 15th first foul. And he's talking to the ref about it. Wasn't sure what it was that they were calling. So let's see how Ziggy gets on here. He's shooting performance at uh, West Lothian. Wasn't the strongest. Oh, he's made his first one this time. So they come into the line up here to get the rebound. Jordan's primed. Ready to box out. Ready to get in there for the rebound on this one if it misses. But he's drained it, so it's two for Ziggy. He'll be well happy with that. Um, and the Knights just come back up the floor with it. So 89, 45, four and a half minutes to oh, go. Ziggy gambled on that one there. Good help from Connor. That's a good finish from the Southern Knights. Nice, nice shot by eight. Gets in strong under the basket. Great pass from Bantu. Great extra pass. That won't Four minutes to go. Fury are needing 11 points to get over their century mark. Johnny, how likely do you think that is? It's, it's looking slim. We need a couple of threes. Yeah, we yeah. need a few threes. But Fury have kind of moved into this new form of basketball where they don't shoot inside the three-point line. It's quite revolutionary. Yes, as we know, the Bunyan clan are all lethal three-point shooters. Lethal. And this is without Old Man River himself. Um, so, yeah, so we're... As Johnny says, we are shooting quite heavily from the three-point line. We need to maybe just penetrate a bit more. Ziggy's in. You know, that's it. Kick into the post. Then put it back out if it's not on. Jordan catches it all, and then he gets blocked. But we get the ball back. Connor gets a great one. With one second left, Bantu puts it up. Oh, he misses. Oh, and unfortunately, Jordan just can't quite grab the rebound there. So, three and a half minutes left. Um, old Man River's got his shoes off, so he's not coming back in. I don't think we'll see Greg Fusas back in at this. Um, he had a slight injury last season, and he won't want to won't want to risk it. So good play from number seven there, making sure that uh, was that Alistair? Amazing pass fake. Amazing pass fake. Good play from number seven. All right, so seven to the start, and it's time for him to come off and have a rest now. Um, they bring back into the game number 12. Right, three minutes to go. I mean, I had 102.47, so I need an amazing run by Fury to be correct here. Oh, and they're going to get the offensive, I knew that. And he's actually, the ricochet after it, so Connor, unfortunately, oh no, actually, sorry, Jock. Oh, it was happened. Sorry, I thought it was, it was Connor, but uh, Kieran was behind him. Did push him in the chest, but he over egged it after the dramatization was amazing. <laughs> yeah, the definition of over egging. Well, it looked like he'd been shot by a machine gun like last week on the money heist. <laughs> uh, all right, so back in action. Three minutes, just under three minutes to go. Bantu taking himself. Great Excellent move from move. Bantu, the up and under scoop. Whooping scoop. Whooping scoop, and that's what we know and love 
him to do. Fantastic churro establishment on Great Western Road, if anyone's interested. Open scoop. Not just basketball knowledge here, you also get... You also get dining recommendations, betting tips, anything you want. All right, back to the game. Back to so, fa JB Fashion Sense, everything here is covered. So, Kieran Allen looking in trouble, and he is in trouble, and he's turned it over. And this should be an easy layup for them, and it is. So, actually, they'll be happy with that, because that's taken them over the half-century mark there. So, it's 91-51. To Fury with two minutes left in the game here. Yeah. Ryan 2 looking for 93. Good job. Good shot by Ryan 2. Good shot by Bantu. Still just, we're, just, we're just three ever closer to the 100, but we're going to be struggling. Sorry, I lost concentration there because I was looking at what Lewis, his trainers were. Oh, and it's an over the shoulder three, and he's made. It's an, un it's an unorthodox shot. Good ball movement from the Sterling Knights. Rate that shooting technique as one of Scotland's best shooters, Fraser. How would you rate that technique? The ball went in, I would rate it 10 out of 10. And, and Johnny being the second well best... Well done, well played. Being the second best shooter in the Glasgow Rock spot, um, would you say? Get as much. No, I didn't think so. Right. So, you can't argue with the result. No, nope, you cannot. Oh, that was a clear foul there. It's on the floor, though. And they're not in, they're not in foul trouble. The moment, so they're going four. No, four. Aye. So we'll go at four fouls. So they go to the sideline because it wasn't shooting, so he doesn't go, doesn't get free throws. The ref's just telling him to get back and give him a meter. Is it a meter, Fraser? Or is it more? I think it's just down to the referee's discretion. Ah, I'm not too sure on the specifics, Diane. So it's so it's Scottish basketball. It could be anything then. Oh, it's from the, uh, goes for a dub shot. Misses Jordan, nice rebound. No, it doesn't quite. Oh, Ziggy for the hustle, doesn't get it back. I mean, it, that is that is the effort the Fury players put in. There's one minute nineteen left in this game, and I've never seen Ziggy move so quick. Not only is he strong, but he's fast. Strong and long. Oh, but then he goes straight on. He's getting frustrated now, to be honest. And he's just drawn a foul, pulled a foul there. So Fury go to three fouls for the quarter. And I've got to be honest, there's one minute left in the game. It's the last half. This half has not been the greatest entertainment for the fans this evening. They've been used to the the kink. Oh, the left hand again. Oh, and then it's no good. Oh, my God. Not hit anything. All right, so we're down. We're inside the last minute here in the last quarter. Kieran Allen goes for another three. Oh, it's hit the front of the rim, and big guy Lewis has come up with the rebound. So I'm happy that Daniel stayed. Oh, and an old oh, big 12. Oh, it was Good a follow great. follow by Daniel Chop. Mm, nice, nice. So 93-58 with 30 seconds left. Bantu Burrows has got the ball, passes it over to Connor, looking for another three. He's not going to put it out to Ziggy. Oh, oh great pass. Is all, Jordan. Oh. Great pass from Connor Martin there. And I feel um, Jordan's been a little bit hard done by. He's tried his best to get shots up here, but they're just. Can you keep that sentence, Razor? I can't remember. What one? What did you just. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember that. I can't remember. I can't remember. Let me go caught up in that. It's the, it's the game that's getting to him. So, Jordan. Lucky for Jordan on the first one. Right, if he makes this free throw, he'll be in Love Island within the next three years. Oh, That'd hello. Your first. That's a prediction. If he misses. How long till you're on, Johnny? I'll never be. Fraz, you will be. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so we're just going to run it out here. Um, so, local derby winds down. Yeah, so thanks to um, Johnny Bunyan, Fraser and Malcolm. Bunny bags. <laughs> M.Bags. M. Bags. M. Dot bags. Um, Thank you, and this little derby, Falkirk have slayed the Knights with some fury. <laughs> oh. Thank you, that's your headline for Saturday. I'm Fraser Malcolm, it's been great having you. All right, guys. Thank you, Fraser. Thank you for your input, sir. <laughs> Thank, thanks guys um, yeah so if you want to hear the same again please 
put your comments in the, the chat below and let us know what you liked about it and what you did. Um, Give and us I'll... all the feedback you can. If you want to have just a Johnny and Faraz show, let us know. If you think Diane deserves to keep her spot, let us know as well. Right now well, it's up for grabs. It's definitely not up for grabs because these guys can't even turn up on time. Um, right. So I hope you've enjoyed, hope you've enjoyed the game and we'll look forward to speaking to you all again soon. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>